I'm almost certain this is about to be the best team in haul you've ever set your eyes on, so I hope you are ready. I've done a little bit of damage, and by a little, I mean not so little, quite a lot actually. But I am convinced I do find some of the best things on there if I do say so myself. So, we are just going to get cracking. Everything you need to know will be down below, but we're going to dive in. Okay, if you watched my last teaming video, you'll know I fell head over heels with my cherry rug, which is right down here on my floor. Give me two seconds and I shall grab her for you because of the quality. I was just so shocked at how like thick and tufted and soft it was that I had to go and have a little nosy and see if I could find anything else because there's a little spot in front of Jack's sofa at his house in the living room where a rug would look pretty cute. And when I saw this, I knew it. It was straight in the baskets because it is the same super fluffy, extra thick. Like this is just, oh, if I'd have seen this in my last haul, I would have grabbed it too, but I'm glad that I have it now. Either way, it is just absolutely wonderful. Like if you could feel this, it is just to die for. And I'm not going to lie, I've seen a lot of people get rugs from Timu and they look like they're being hit by a steamroller. So you've got to do a little bit of digging, look at the reviews if there is any. And I'm pretty sure these are meant to be bath mats. I mean, that's what they feel like on the back, but this is going to be in the living room nonetheless. It's got like that grippy side to it, so it's not going to go slipping all over the floor. But ever since I got my last one, I've been dying to see if there's any more designs. And obviously I saw this and I just could not help myself. So this is going straight in Jack's living room. It will look absolutely stunning because we have a bunch of black furniture, so it's going to tie in well. It's just going to be the perfect fit. It is stunning. There's a couple of stuff in cardboard boxes, so we'll get these out of the way. Everything that is like fragile as well always comes super well packaged. So although it is a more affordable website, you don't have to worry about your stuff coming damaged because they always come either bubble wrapped or in like polystyrene or whatever this like squidgy foam material is. But, oh, yes. I remember this, oh my god, right. This I really wanted for myself, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm tempted to go back on there and grab one. I actually got this for Molly's birthday, which is coming up. So if you're watching this video, bye bye, click off. Do not spoil it for yourself. She collects Lego flowers and I saw this and I thought, I'm sorry, could it be a more perfect vase? They also did this in black, but just imagine that with little Lego flowers popping out the top, like that is, a little Lego character in it, like it just looks like it's so cute, and it's fully ceramic. It's not like a cheap plasticky material. Like this is built to last. It's gonna be the perfect addition to a little Lego flower collection, and I'm very excited to give her this. I just know she's gonna absolutely love, and I just can't. Oh, it's so cute. I really want to go on and grab one for myself. Like just with little flowers coming out the top. I actually did get some flowers actually, so we'll, we'll try that now. Obviously Lego ones are gonna look a lot better, but I grabbed this little pack of pink, well, not pack, it's just a little single bunch. I, I don't know what the flowers are meant to be, I'm sorry, I'm not an expert in that, but they're cute nonetheless. Ah, stop it. And then I also got these, does it say what they're meant to be? No, I think they're slightly longer, so I might have to like, chop them down to fit in and do it properly but oh no that's cute like obviously you'd like mix them round and separate them because they are bunched together at the minute no i'm in love that has convinced me to go on and grab one for myself i can't not look at it how perfect is that and if you're a fan of like those whole bare brick style as well i feel like this is very similar to that so this might be a bit of you i don't know but i bloody love it it's a need it is a need it's so sweet should we swap this out let's pop it and have that as the little decor, why not? Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then the next box, I think, was my drinking glass bottle, let's see. Again, bubble wrapped to the gods. Like, <laughs> there is no smashing damaging going on here. Oh my God, that is so cute, stop it right now. I think they did have another version as well with a wooden lid if that's what you prefer, but I just like the look of like the all clear glass. If you're a matcha girly, like seeing the levels of like the green and then like the blueberry foam. Ugh. I feel like it looks super nice with this. In the summer, like with some ice in it, like, oh, I just can't wait. Obviously I don't think I'd like take it around the streets maybe because it's glass and I'm clumsy, so that would not end well, but just around the house, nice little morning drink. Yeah, yeah. And again, I think this was like less than a tenner, so hopefully I can learn to make a nice proper iced coffee because I'm quite rubbish at it. Can you hear that rain? 
If I turn my window because I'm sweating, but that is like full on pelting it down. Anyways, if you're a fan of your glassware like me and you just collect little mugs and jars and cups and this might be a bit to you. Hopefully no spiders jump out at me this time. I did grab two more glass cups. Last time I got like the bubbly ripple effect ones, but I saw these and I'm pretty sure it had like strawberry milk in it and it just sold me because it was like pink and cute. And I love like the frilly top because I don't know what it is, but I just feel like that against your lips when you're drinking it is gonna feel really nice and just satisfying. I don't know, but you know when it's like molded to the shape of the lip, like do you wanna doing a little <laughs> sip. I don't know. But yeah, it's not actually ribbed on the outside that like, this is smooth. The ribs are on the inner part of the mug. So it don't feel like slippery and odd when you're holding it. It just feels like a normal little mug. But I did grab two of them so that me and Jack have one each. We do drink a lot of pop. So plenty of glasses come in handy, but these are absolutely stunning with the little ripple the effect. I will admit I own way too many mugs, but there's no way I wasn't gonna get this because first of all, it had cherries on. So, I mean, that's an instant, yeah. But, oh, just the pink, the cream, yellow, the little, oh my God, look at it. It is a lot more like shallow than I thought it was gonna be from the picture, but I'm sorry. I have always wanted to go to like those little like ceramic pottery painting classes and I've just never got around to it. So this is like the closest thing. I can't cope. The pink and the red and the cream is so dainty. It's got the like rustic, ripply, like handmade effect and just everything about it is just beautiful. But if for whatever reason you are not a fan of cherries, they had a bunch of fruit designs to pick from but I had to get this because she is just so stinking cute but yeah I think that is everything like glassware cup vibe oh no I got this for Jack for work because he's been wanting a new little lunch box and this is just a glass one because it's so much easier to clean I'm pretty sure they're like way better for you as well like because the plastic's not gonna break down I'm not sure I'm not clued up on all that but it sounds like it makes sense the one he's got currently is really similar to this but it's like split in the middle and it hates the fact that he can't mix his food together so when I saw this I thought I'd be a nice girlfriend and get him a new little lunch box for work so if you're watching this here you go your little glass dish to heat your food up at work there's not really much to say about it it's just a little lunchbox and speaking of i did also get this one for me because she's been dying to have one of the popular little you know cutlery plastic bamboo looking ones for school we've got it in the nice beige color this bit comes off separately so you can wash the spark spark the spoon and the fork so that it's not like getting mixed in with your food underneath and then it just has the little layer split off to put a sandwiches and whatever else a little heart desires in there but I feel like she's gonna get a use out of this you know she's going to high school next which really scares me but she has been asking for one for a while so I was a nice big sister and I treated her to a new little lunchbox and I think this is that cute like I'd use this myself not that I go anywhere that I'd need a lunchbox but there we go. I then picked up this pack of little heart shaped balls in the same material as the pack lunch box. And I thought I might use these as like doggy dishes because they love to eat our shallow balls so like you can see and spread the food around with the nose. So I thought these would be great for that. If not, they'd be nice as a little like table decoration for a birthday to put like little picky bits in like pretzels, strawberries, sweets, you know, whatever your heart desires to put in these balls. But they had a bunch of different colours, I just opted for the beige because that's the one I like the best. I then got a little ornament for mum because she mentioned someone she followed on Instagram had it and I saw it on Timu so I thought I would grab it for her. And I low-key wish I got this myself as well now because this would look so cute in my bedroom. But we're going to keep it for Madre because she was the one that did originally want it. Sorry, I know, I know like everyone that has sausage dogs just seems to have sausage dog themed everything, like it is just a given, but when there's stuff like this, how can you not? I think they had a different design ones as well, like speckledy ones, newspaper print ones, and also a bunch of different sa- oh, it's got a little willy. I got it in the willy, I put it in my bum, me and my bum have all kinds of fun. It's just a nice little display piece and it's decent quality as well, so can't complain. One thing I did want to get were a new plant, but I really wanted a long tall one and majority of them that came like already planted in the pot were a little bit more spinny so I thought why not DIY it I'll just buy the branch and buy the pot and put it together myself didn't quite think it through properly because I didn't read the size description on the plant pot and it came this small <laughs> 
So I'm pretty sure the second I put the leaves in this, it's going to topple over. So I might have to find another use for this, but it's got like the foam inside where you just pierce it and then the plant stands in it. So you could always just buy like a pot of the four flowers and stick this in and have it as like a little plant pot. But didn't read the size description clearly and I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. So this is the plant I got for it. Obviously it's not going to fit. Let's just try it anyway. I don't have high hopes for it fitting, but... We're just gonna, I think you like bend them out or do they like naturally? Oh no, you must have to bend them because they're, wait, what? Oh, oh wait, yeah. You kind of just, right, why is that joined together? Anyways, let me just twiddle this out and get it. Oh no, it's actually, oh, ooh, I quite like that. It's hard to see when it's like so up close in your face, but once you start to, right, I need to be careful of that candle actually. Spread it out a little bit. Let's just, yeah, right. Let's just stick it in and see. Oh, that's actually not, I mean, the size of the plant compared to the plant pot does look a little bit stupid, but I thought that actually wasn't gonna hold it and it was gonna, I mean, it might topple over. I don't know, I don't really have a flat surface I can put it on right now without it setting on fire. Let's just hope that this stands, but this was under a tenner for both of these together. I think this pot was like £2.50 and this plant was like, six seven quid i can't complain with that it is holding it like it fits so if you well it's very so close to catching a light then if you want a nice like fluffy floaty plant and you don't want to pay a stupid price for it just diy it like me i might actually go on there and see if they've got any different style plants and different pots and just get a bunch of them to put around the house because it's not a bad idea is it and give myself a pat on the back for that because I bloody smashed it. I then grabbed myself just a nice little crochet plain tote bag for day to day use. It's like this slouchy style because every other tote bag I own has something crazy on it. I don't have just a nice simple one for when I'm popping to the charity shops or doing a food shop. So this is going to come in handy. And I like that it's that sort of shape that you can just throw things in. The one I have currently is very like stiff and you can't really put it under your arm without feeling like it's eating away at your pit. Whereas this is just nice, you know, throw it on, good to go. And it's super soft as well. I wasn't expecting it to feel like this. I thought it was going to be like that itchy, like cheap yarn material. But if this was a top, I would wear it. That's how soft it is. So I'm very excited to get my use out of this new little tote bag. And again, they had a bunch of colours, but I'm basic. So I went for the cream. Remember back in like 2020 when everyone was making the iced coffees and stuff and they had these little handheld whisks? I never got one of them. So I thought, you know what? It's about time. Because at the minute, when I try and make anything that has like a nice frothy milk, I literally just shake my carton of milk until it has like a layer on top. Whereas this is going to be so much easier. And again, I went for a nice neutral colour. I don't know what it is about me getting all this nude stuff, but it all matches, so I don't mind. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my own battery in this. Obviously, I don't think it's going to come with one of them, but... It's just like a yeah we don't need a demonstration we all know how a whisk works but it's a nice thick like chunky size right careful what you're doing there <laughs> i'm gonna make some nice nice coffees all right that's all that's all that needs to be said if you have a dash and you'll know they love to like bureau under blankets and stuff like that so when i saw this bed that had a little like hood on top i thought oh my god perfect but silly me got the smallest size instead of the biggest size so they do fit, but only one at a time. I thought I was biting this thinking all three of them would fit in it. Um, no, it's a squeeze for just one. It is super nice and soft and I love this like brown, furry, like white mixed fluffy material. So just keep that in mind. It is a lot smaller than what it looks. I think this is like the 50 by 50 centimeter one. It is still gonna get used by the doggies. They're just gonna have to share and take turns to lay in it. But I do think it is dead cute still. Or if you have a cat, this is probably a perfect size for a cat because obviously a lot smaller but i just love the fact it's got this little layer on top to keep them warm because it's so soft like this fabric with the whole like brown and cream is lovely so lovely in fact i actually got myself a matching blanket this came so vacuum packed i am not joking this feels like a brick like if you threw this at someone it would probably knock them out for a solid five minutes i'm not even chatting shit like this like she is thick I don't know how much this is going to puff up when we get into it. We'll soon see. That, if that was wrapped up in a bag and someone asked me what it was, I think it's like a hardback fucking 10,000 page book, not a blanket. It's definitely not feeling soft right now. So <laughs> let's just get it open and see. Oh my God, it's actually identical to the bed. <laughs> You're just like mommy, baby. How do I get into this? I mean, I will say I love that it's actually like properly wrapped up. It's got like the little 
branding on the front and stuff like that because they could have just chucked it in a bag and said here you go for the price but it's nice and well presented it's even got a little ribbon on it and stuff so oh my god yes oh i think wait what size did i get this is don't say. This is the 160 by 200 centimetre one. So it is quite. Oh my god, the other side is like soft, suede like velvet feeling as well. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Narnia with one of the coats for this. Just wrap myself up in this. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is huge. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to properly show you it. She is massive. Oh yes, I'm so ready to be snuggled up in this. But it's identical to the bed, like it could not be more of a perfect match if I tried, so very pleased with myself about that. We've got a few more little bits to get through, so I've been doing my own nails now since I was 16, so a long time, and I've still not gotten any quicker at it. It takes me so long, it actually sometimes bores me, but the outcome is always well worth it. And I saw these and I thought, you know what, this is gonna make doing them 10 times quicker, or at least I hope anyway. And it's those little stands that you put the press-ons on so you can paint the design and stuff, stick it under the lamp, and then they're done and you can just stick them on like usual nails. It would help if I actually showed you on it. But you just attach your press-ons onto it, do whatever you need to do, and then ping them off, stick them on your nails. Hopefully it's gonna speed up the process of when I get around to doing these properly, because these are just prime -like ones at the minute, because I didn't want to sit here with ugly nails, but I wanted to wait for these to come to do my own properly, you know? So I did grab two of them so I can do all 10 fingernails at once. Speaking of nails, the ones I use at the minute are long rectangle ones that I have to file into the little almond shape. So I thought, why not just buy some ready-made almond shape? Again, saving me way more time. But I'm shocked because I thought it was just going to come in a plastic bag like my ones I usually get do. But it came in a nice little container that I can keep them in has like the style and design on the front and it feels very profesh. And then the last few bits I've got for my nails are just these charms and I've put in these little boxes which are also from Timu just because I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to carry them around. So we've got some little pink bows in these cute little like snap boxes. We've got some red bows. These which are like little pink hearts with angel wings. We've got some white bows. And then possibly my favourite, we've got these little lollipops. Like, imagine them stuck on your nails. I cannot wait. This cute little strawberry charm. I thought this would go perfect with my phone case if I can find a way to hook that on somehow because it's like matching with the little straws and it's nice, it's not like too clunky so it's gonna get in the way. I've also lost both my hair bows which I'm absolutely gutting about because I had this gorgeous satin black one and this gorgeous satin cream one which are nowhere to be found. So I picked up this to kind of fill in until I find them and I love the sort of like wavy design that it has. It's like this sheer shimmery little hair bow and I've missed wearing these and I'm pretty sure this was like a quid. You're gonna see me in this a lot. One thing I'm constantly running out of is eyelashes, so I felt like this was a perfect time to stock up. I grabbed these super thick, like dramatic, fluffy ones just because I don't have anything like this in my collection and it's nice to sometimes just be a little bit bold. Again, with these ones that look super similar. If I put them next to each other, you will be able to see there is like a slight difference between them. And then I got these two more natural ones. I love the style of these. Separated into little clusters. And then these ones which are slightly more on like the wispy, fluttery side. Again, that's those two together. And then the last thing I grabbed is a huge wash basket, which I was not expecting it to be this big. Like I was hoping it was gonna be at least a little bit deep so I could actually carry my stuff from the washing machine back upstairs and vice versa. But this was a tenner and it is absolutely huge, which I'm so happy about because I cannot like, yeah, I have a lot of clothes. So if it's going to save me less trips up and down, up and down, I'm very happy. But this, I feel like it's not coming across how big it actually is in real life. Like I could fit all three of my dogs in there and probably myself too, like if I was knelt down. But it is huge. The size of this, like everything in this haul I had in this basket. I'm just like pulling it out to show you, but I am very pleased with that. They had a few colours, but again, I went for the neutral. Don't shoot me, all right? I like things to be nice and just plain sometimes, you know, keeping it simple. But that is everything for this Teemu haul. <laughs> I'll link everything I can if you to save some money on the Teemu app. I'm sure this will be my last time shopping with them. If you've not yet had a little dabble or a nosy, feel free to do so. And if you do pick anything up, let me know because I would love to see because it gets me so excited. Like I could just sit and scroll on there for days. It's bad. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to love you and leave you. Again, huge thank you to Timmy for sponsoring this video. Bless it.
Bye. S O S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed, but he never on the show. Get impressed, cause I'm dope. You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green, so you know this happy tree.